Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel The and Art. Today I will be making a heart and heart petri dish effect. And I bought these molds for especially for this technique to try. So let's start with opening the package first. I have seen many artists using this mold and they create beautiful creation with it. So this was something I wanted to try and so I specifically bought a mold for this technique. So what I'm doing here is I have taken a high viscosity resin here, meant it's a thick resin. So on here I am pouring resin into each of the molds. And in another container, I have taken a little amount of resin and I am adding just resin white pigment paste. You can have any white pigment paste added to this resin. Make sure to first thoroughly mix your pigment paste and then scoop the little amount out of the container. So I have waited so for what this I did here resin to thicken up and after 30 minutes, now I am dropping the alcohol inks into the hearts so this is the point to be taken that i have waited 30 minutes for this reason to thicken up so now i am pouring the alcohol inks And the same amount of the time has been taken to thicken up this white as well. It's 30 minutes. So now you can see that the white is a bit slow to uh, drop. It don't drop very fast into the hearts. So now I am dropping the uh, white drops slowly into the alcohol inks. And now I waited a more 10 minutes and about after 10 minutes I am doing the swirl trying to make the heart shapes so this was my first time trying this technique so I was a bit afraid that I don't want to ruin it so I was not going through very deep down into the mold because I don't want to scratch my mold So for this purpose, you can use a silicone tip tool. So you can see how thick the resin is. I have told you the time I waited that the everything is uh, cured uh, is, you know, what you can say is thick and my resin is not moving. Only the areas are moving that I'm making this wool. That's it. So I waited 30 minutes for the resin to thicken up and then after that I added the alcohol inks and after adding the alcohol ink I added the white drops and then after more 10 minutes I did the swirl. So I was thinking that I made these and I didn't swirl all the way down so I might be making more three more of them and in that I want to fill up the circle. 
So here I have filled up the last three cavities of the heart with the resin again. Same technique. I waited 30 minutes and now I'm dropping the alcohol links into the resin. And this time I will be adding in outer circle and a, and a drop in the middle. I want to go into, into the middle as well because these hearts were looking a bit empty to me in the middle. So I wanted to try this one as well. And now again, I added the white same procedure. And my white is not easily dropped into the resin molds. It's taking its time. And again after 10 minutes I'm doing the swirl and this time I will be taking it fr from the center to the outer side. Well this is totally up to you. You can move from out to inwards or inward to outwards. So what I was thinking at the time I did it. I really didn't want to disturb the resin a lot. The alcohol inks and the white. So this time I am doing a little deeper with the tool to move the white a bit more. And that's, that's it. Now we let it all of them to be cured. So this is the next day and I am really excited because I want to see if it worked or not what I was expecting the results and here are the results so the center is a bit empty as I can see but I still like them and I am really close to the effect that I was going for I think I got the effect by making the hearts in the hearts They are looking lovely with all the vibrant colors. If you have any suggestions, do let me know that what can be do, done for the center. I was thinking of adding a little dry flower into the center. It might look pretty. I was thinking of adding it yesterday, but I thought let's see the let's see first the technique if it's come it comes out good. So this one is the one with the middle one. And after seeing this one, these, um, so let's see the rest of them. This is, this one turned out really pretty. It looks like an Art Nouveau piece. All in all, both of them, I think, turned out pretty. Do let me know in comments what you think. For the, uh, both of them are pretty, yeah. So I can happily make them again. So this was my little experiment and I hope you like it and if you did please let me know in comments and so here is a close up of all of them. So this is all from me for you today and Please do like, subscribe and share and thumbs up if you like the video today and 